The kicker's got the ball set up, and we're ready to get this thing started. And he got all of this one. Great kick. And it sails out of the end zone for a touchback. Now the offense gets ready to take their first crack at it. Nice run, and he's brought down. And he picked up almost four on that halfback delay. From their own 29-yard line, it's second down. And he's taken down at about the 25-yard line. Great job by the defense of getting after that quarterback. And right now, I think they've got him with some happy feet. He appears to be a bit rattled. Let's go, defense. Let's get out the field, defense. Mike's number one. Mike's number one. And he tackles him hard at the 15-yard line. Brad, not only did they give up a sack here, but their quarterback just got hit and hit hard. If I'm an offensive coordinator, especially an offensive line coach, I'm getting a hold of my offensive line, making sure these guys are on the same page, and they've got to take more pride in taking care of their quarterback than that play right there. The sack makes this a fourth and very long. They've got 10 guys up. They're coming after the kick. They get this one off, and it's a beauty. Gets to about the 37 yard line. Go Bears have shown over the course of the season that they want to get this guy the football, but you can't just go to him every play. Well, on the road, you especially want to take the crowd out of the game, and the one guy you know who can do it is this wide receiver. The problem you have is this defense, more often than not, is going to be a line to take him out of the game. And that, to your point, Brad, that's where somebody's going to have to step up, whether it's the running game, some of the other receivers. You're going to have to take some of the pressure off of him and really make it a team effort to be able to win this game on the road. From their own 43-yard line, it's second down. The 46 yard line. That makes it third and 11. Roger, Roger. 41's coming. 41's a mic. He don't know. So the stop there on third and long, and that's going to bring up a punting situation. Great hold by the defense. They were expecting the pass play, and they defended it very well. He really got a hold of that one. So this one goes into the end zone, and that'll be a touchback. This is a fun game, and I think we're going to see a lot of interesting football before it's over. From their own 18 yard line, second down. Little handoff. He's taken down around the 34 yard line. He gets another set of downs and more importantly, opens up a whole host of play calling possibilities for the coaching staff. chance on that play. Boy, this defense, a lot of speed. They're all over him by the time he caught the ball. We've got a second and 11. Ball on the 34. In the shotgun and five wideouts. Tosses across the middle to his tight end. Brought down at about the 49. It's 
it out to his receiver in a hurry. And they make the stop around the 38-yard line. You've got to play with that kind of purpose to move the ball against this defense. First and 10. Ball on the 38-yard line. Five wide. He's on the run. And they get the sack. This quarterback has to do a better job of avoiding the rush because sacks can be real drive killers. Now he's scrambling. And he's level at the 34. Third down, and they need to get it to the 28. They'll line up with five wide receivers. A little toss across the middle, and he's tackled at the 26. When you can move the ball downfield in big chunks like that, you've got the defense right where you want it. It's the ninth play of the drive. Catches it, and he's looking for more. They'll bring him down at the 18. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. Gets out to around the nine. This is the 11th play of this drive. He's going to try and scramble. Tackle made at the nine. No gain on the play. That brings up second and goal. Second down and goal. Ball on the nine-yard line. He gets out to about the six-yard line. That's good for a gain of three yards. Thirteenth play of the drive coming up. He scrambled. Keeps it, and he's got a touchdown. He splits the uprights with the extra point. It was a 13-play, 78-yard drive, and they come away with a touchdown. Brad, I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play calling on that drive. I thought the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense. He sends this one deep. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. And while they are behind, they know they can knot things up in a heartbeat. It's way too early to change your game plan. They come out in a five-wide set. Tackle around the 22-yard line. Anytime a running back gets one-on-one -on -one with a safety, I think that running back has the confidence in his own athletic ability to be able to make that safety miss and, and get upfield for some yards. That time, the safety just dominated him, made a great tackle in the backfield for a short loss. From their own 22-yard line, second down. Oh, we had a pitcher's duel in that low-scoring first quarter. 7-0, BYU. And we welcome you back to the action here. Just about set to start the second quarter. Hey, number eight's coming. Number eight's Mike. Mike. Ready! Just throws this one away. Brad, I just think this quarterback's got to do a much better job of being able to read that defense and make quicker decisions. And especially when the defense starts to get pressure, you've got to either get rid of that football or check it down or take off and run with it. Halfback's got it on the quick throw. 
That's a seven-yard gain. I thought this play was going to go for more yards, but the defense did a good job of shutting it down before the halfback could get any further downfield. And this one is a beauty. He's taken down at the 36. There hasn't been too much daylight between these two teams. In games like this, some players try to press too much, and that can cause mistakes. Brigham Young is up by a touchdown. And he's immediately tackled. From their own 46-yard line, first down. Pulls it in, and he's in the open field. And down he goes around the 42-yard line. Here's the throw, and I don't think he got anything on that. Nothing going on that play. Well, here I think the quarterback needs to be a little more patient in the pocket. That way he can allow his receivers to get downfield a little bit before he throws it. Second and 11 coming up now. Ball on the 42-yard line. They'll spread the field with five wide. And he throws right away. Caught, open field, steps out of bounds around the 20-yard line. That was a really nice play on the ball by the receiver for a substantial gain and a first down. From the 20-yard line, first down. The halfback with a carry. The halfback picks up maybe five yards on the draw play. That makes it second and six. Brigham Young is up a score. Wide open receiver, and it's incomplete. From the 15-yard line, it's third down. The quarterback in the gun, empty backfield, five wide receivers in the formation. The 10, big play there, and now they're looking at first and goal. This is the eighth play of this drive. Makes a move, and he's in for the touchdown. So he punches it into the end zone for the second time today. You know, this guy's got two touchdowns. I think it's time to make an adjustment and maybe try to start to spy him. Hey, would you use a linebacker or a safety? Somebody who's got great speed who can account for the running of this quarterback. He makes the PAT. It was an eight-play, 64-yard drive, and the result, seven points. Sends it sailing downfield, and it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. It was a pretty one-sided first quarter, but I wouldn't be surprised if things changed in a big way before halftime. And he carries the ball for a nice game. A nice seven-yard gain on the option keeper. That'll bring up second and three. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. It's just me and you. It's just me and you. Ready! He's tackled at the 31. I like how the defense got all up into that option to disrupt it. The offense looks a bit unsettled after losing that battle. Larry, Larry. They come out on an empty backfield. 
and he's hit before he can go anywhere. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 45-yard line. Three down, three down. Mike 41. We've got a wedge. He steps out around the 48-yard line. That makes it second and six. And he's tackled right away. Call it a gain of seven yards. That'll bring up third and inches. So it's third down, and they're just inches away from picking up the first down. Now he tries to buy some time, and he's going to come up with a sack. The protection broke down. The defense was in the backfield in a hurry, and they brought the quarterback down. Nice play. Fourth down, and the offense is still on the field. him hard at the 36 yard line i'll tell you something i'm loving this quarterback's confidence more and more as this game goes on he's really throwing the ball with some purpose he's out of bounds at the 32. it's second down six yards to go ball on the 32. throws in a hurry Quick throw, caught, touchdown. And he hits the PAT. A nine-play, 75-yard drive, and they put up seven points. An amazing drive for this offense. Outstanding execution. If you're the defense, you've got to do something to try to change things up to get this quarterback out of sync. So our score, 14-7. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Brigham Young is up seven. It's a yard on the run. That was a short gain, but a nice tackle there by the junior who stepped up in traffic and made a nice play. Second down and nine to go. Ball on their own 26. Watch number 12. Watch number 12. Red 85. Watch the screen. Red 85. Hot, hot. Zips it to the tight end, and he's taken down around the 28-yard line. We've played a half of football here. The Cougars with a touchdown lead. Hi, everybody. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Chris Davis, David Pollock here in the studio as always to lend a little perspective to what just went down in the first 30 minutes. Defense has been in total control in the first half, and you'd think maybe the offense's confidence was shaken. But if you want to look at the entire team picture, David, how big a deal is it for an offense to know, look, if we can just put together one, maybe two good scoring drives, our defense has got our back. Well, a lot of times when you know you have a defense, it's great, too, is you build your offense around it. And when I say that, 
why do I need to take chances? You know, if it's third and long, I don't mind throwing a five-yard pass, and if I break a tackle, I get a first down. I mean, don't put my defense that's dominant, that's great, in a bad position, and, and you can afford to be more conservative. You see it every single year. What do we always talk about here at ESPN? We talk about you, you defense wins championships, and that's how you win ball games, and you see it consistently unfold. So if I'm building an offense, let's just not put my great dominant defense in a bad position. Looking forward to seeing this second half. I think there's certainly a want for victory. A want and a need for victory. Some teams need this victory, Reese Davis. Want, need, got to go get it either way. Brad and Kirk are there to deliver. All right, Reese and Davis, thanks, guys. Second half action just about ready to start here. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. He goes out of bounds around the 29-yard line. From their own 29-yard line, it's second down. Makes it out to about the 39. Gain of 10 on the play. First down. Man out, man out, man out, man out. Mike 41. You've got to wedge that, huh? Brought down at about the 49. Number 20 on the tackle at the 49 yard line. First and 10. Ball on the 49 yard line. He makes it to the 48-yard line. Pickup of a yard for the tailman. And that was the junior corner who will get credit with that tackle. was able to get really good penetration and drop him short of the line of scrimmage. Third down, and they need to get it down to the 39. And they make the stop around the 39-yard line. Here's the eighth play of the series. Larry, Larry. And he's tackled at the 17 yard line. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 17. Let's go! He's taken down at the nine yard line. That's good for a gain of eight yards. That makes it second and This is the 10th play of this drive. Quick strike to the receiver, touchdown! That's a positive for the passing game. It was absolutely the right call in that situation. The extra point to tie this game up. And he adds the extra point. A 10-play, 75-yard drive, and it results in a touchdown. Brad, I thought that was a textbook drive. I thought they did a really good job of showing balance, mixing the play calling with the run and the pass. Just an overall well-executed touchdown drive. Time's getting a little bit tighter now. You've got to make every possession count. Tackle made around 
the 34-yard line. That's good for D. That brings up second and one. It's second down now, and they're just a few feet away from that first down marker. They'll bring him down around the 46-yard line. He's scrambling. He's going to take off. Tackle at the 48-yard line. about four yards away here on second down. Here he goes. Knocked out of bounds at the 28-yard line. it out maybe to the 26 yard line that's, that's a, gain a gain of two, of two on the play, play. That, that brings up second and nine from the 26 yard line it's second down pressured and brought down Oh, that is a big hit on the quarterback. That's one of those as an offensive lineman. When the film study starts to come around, you're going to kind of sink in your chair and just hope they don't call you out because you're going to get embarrassed on Monday on that one. Third down now, and they need to get it to the 18. There are five wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the gun. They'll make the sack, and they get to him again. Well, this offense is running plays that are taking way too long to develop, giving the defense plenty of time to get after the quarterback. And boy, they're putting a lot of pressure on him. Brigham Young could take the lead with this field goal. It has the distance, and he got it. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. He sends this one deep. And it sails out of the end zone for a touchback. Both these offenses stepping up and answering the bell. Who's going to blink first here? <laughs> exactly right. I've just been impressed with the way they've been able to execute. I mean, there's, there's a lot of pressure on them. Anytime you're feeling that the other offense can put points up on the board, there's a tendency to want to press. Neither one, neither one has done that up to this point, and right now it's going to come down to who can continue to execute the points up. The last time out, they were able to pick up big chunks of yards through the air. You wonder if they'll go back to that same strategy or will they start to lean a little bit more on their ground game. And he is drilled at the 34. That brings up second and one. Short yardage situation here. It's second down and one. He gets out to about the 35-yard line. First down. Fires that quickly to the tailback. We head to the final quarter, and we've got a great game on our hands. 17-14. BYU. Back in this very pivotal fourth quarter. Five wide. 
Mike 41. You gotta wedge that, huh? Ready! Throws <laughs> complete. He's got space to work. Gain of five yards. That makes it 37. From their own 39 yard line. Third down. The 37. That's a D That makes it first and ten. Let's go. That's right. What's up? From the 37 yard line. First down. Mike 22, he's coming. 22 is coming. Mike, Mike. You gotta get the ball, D. Get the ball. Ready! He's tackled at the 27 yard line. Gain of 10 yards. First down. Reset, right. They'll spread the field with five wide. Here we go. Stays in bounds and made a nice catch. That makes it first and goal. This is the eighth play of this drive. Hey, hey. Mike 41, Mike 41. Here we go. Black 90. Oh. Black 90. Hot. 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 And he just gets rid of it. Brad, I just think this quarterback's got to do a much better job of being able to read that defense and make quicker decisions. And especially when the defense starts to get pressure, you've got to either get rid of that football or check it down or take off and run with it. And he tackles him hard at the four-yard line. That makes his third and goal. Tenth play of the drive. Quarterback all by himself in the backfield with five wideouts. Touchdown! And now they're winning this ball game. Throw his third touchdown pass of the game. The one thing this quarterback does a nice job of is taking what the defense gives him. He's always looking for the open target. He splits the uprights with the extra point. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. He really got a hold of that kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Both teams realize that when the ball is snapped, we're one play away from a very different ball game. He's on the run. And he's taken down right around the 42-yard line. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 42-yard line. Wears it out to the right to the halfback. And he's shoved out of bounds at the 46-yard line. That's good work, Danny, four yards. That makes it second and six. Give me that ball. Ready! complete and he's hit right away. That's a game of six on the ball. Third down. Third down. It's third down and this offense is about three feet away from that first down marker. Less than three minutes in the game. Brought down at the 41. The 37-yard line. Second and, six. 
Second and six. Ball on the 37. They come out at a five wide set. Big opening. What is going on with this defense? I mean, don't get me wrong. The offense is doing a nice job with first downs and they're executing well, but the defense is just letting them maintain possession and move the ball right down the field. They've got to try to change things up with their scheme. Be more aggressive, attack, do some things to change it up, take some risks. One, maybe two yards on the quarterback scramble. This is the eighth play of the drive. And a quick throw. This is smart, efficient play call. You don't need to make the highlight reel on each play. That makes it third and three. And here's another third down. Well, a lot of frustration by that offense, but you've got to give the defense credit for coming up with a stop in this quarter in a game this close. That brings up fourth and three. They'll line up with five wide receivers. The 10 slings it, and he's level at the six yard line. So here we go, first and goal, and a field goal won't cut it. They come out on an empty backfield. So the quarterback draw gets back to the line of scrimmage. Yeah, it was a short gain, but a nice tackle there by the junior who stepped up in traffic and made a nice play. Here's the 12th play of the drive. Four down, four down. Here we go, oh. Just over a minute left. Let's go! 59 Philly! 59 motion, Philly! Motion, motion. He makes it to the six yard line. The Cougars taking their first time out of the half. Well, let's see what they do here. It's third and goal from the six. Now he's scrambling. Quarterback's going to run it, and he's got room to work. Late in the fourth quarter, one possession game, and this is where poise really takes over. Whoever shows it will win the football game. Trying to go up by three, they'll kick the extra point. And he tacks on the extra point. It was a 13-play, 74-yard drive, and they come away with seven points. Brad, I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play call on that drive. I thought the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense. Golden Bears have sort of set up the defense with this wide receiver doing most of the damage. Do they go away from him or do they do something different? Well, I think one of two things here for this offense. You either find a way to get your star receiver the football or in some cases you want to use him as a decoy, maybe take two or three defenders with him and then open it up for somebody else to be able to make a play. And he throws right away. The defense got some pressure and forced a bad pass. I think they've been a little bit more aggressive here with their pass rush and that time it paid off with an incompletion. So it's second and ten. Ball in the 25. Complete brought down. Nothing doing. The D sniffs out the screen pass and holds him to a short game. Contain, contain, contain. That's the only way you can shut down a guy with 4-2 speed. Throws complete. Big loss. That's a loss of about five. And that's just a sound play by the defense. They dropped him well short of the line of scrimmage. Five guys will be out in the pattern as they're in the shotgun. Looks to his back, and he's got him again. So the play of the day, fourth and ball game, and the defense comes up with the stop of the day and what will be the win. 
They moved the ball very effectively on their last drive, which ended with a touchdown. The defense has been talking it over on the sideline, trying to make some corrections. Let's see if they can stop them this time. You can bet this defense made some adjustments on the sideline, though. I don't know if they can stop the passing attack, but they need to at least be able to slow it down. California staff and really this entire team I'm sure is going to rally around this kid. Yeah, it's a tough loss for this team. I mean, they put so much into this game. But one thing about them is they're, they're a team. And even though their star player had a tough game, I think they'll pick him back up and get him ready to go by next week. So that wraps things up for us. For EA Sports and Kirk Herbstreit. I'm Brad Nessler saying thanks, and we'll see you next time.